Welcome everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at navigation. In the previous lesson, we looked at how you can navigate, but now we are going to go a little bit into detail. We hope by the end of this lesson, you will know what units working range you should use. You shall also know the quick navigation between the geometry uh, viewport and the node viewport. So let's start the lesson. So what you're going to start by doing is fire up Dynamo and open up a new file. So as we mentioned in the previous lesson, um, you can find that there's the library on the right hand side and there's the menu at the top. So now what you're going to end up doing is that you are going to try and find a way. Let's click a new node. We have the library, we have our grid. So one of the important things we didn't talk about in the previous lesson is click preferences and the general and under geometric scaling. So geometric scaling, there's small, medium, large, and extra large. So what do these mean? This depends on the kind of units you're working with. So for example, let's say your drawing is in meters and, and it says that if you're using this working range, work between something that's between 0. Point that and 100 units. If you're working in millimeters, this would mean something really, really small or centimeters. For example, if this was centimeters, you'd be working something that's as big as a meter. So you'd find that that would be okay. So if you go to media, media you're working between something that's 0. 0.01 and 10,000 units. So if this was centimeters, this would be 10,000 centimeters. If you're in kilometers, if you're in meters, you find that most of the time by either in meters or feet. So you find that this would be a maximum of 10,000 meters, which is 10 kilometers. So if you know your drawing is bigger than that, then you should do that. Then we have large, which is equal to 1 million units. You will find that most of the times when you're working, I would recommend you either use large or extra large. So just make sure you put that into consideration. The next point is there are two views, okay? There is one called the node view. The node view, you can see the node here, and there's one called the geometry view, okay? So for example, if I am just to look under geometry and bring up a point, we are going to start talking about points in the next lesson. This is the geometry view. So in the geometry view, you can navigate around. So you can pan, you can move it around. Okay, so there I'm just middle, I'm just left clicking. That's how you can move the geometry view around. You can also rotate in the geometry view. Okay, and you can zoom in and out, okay? zoom in and out using the middle mouse scroll wheel or you can use this and then you can click this take us back okay zoom to fit okay we well, want everything to fit okay so this zooms in this zooms out this you can pan the geometry view and this you can rotate the geometry view okay and then after that you can zoom to fit so when you also right click the number of things one you can quickly switch to the node view but then you can switch between rotate, pan, and zoom to fit. Okay, so again, you can click that and it takes you zoom to fit. That's where we are. So we can now switch to the node view. So the node view, again, it's the same. Right now, what we have activated is the pan. Uh, what we have activated is the move. So you can click to pan. You can click this because that's activated. Pan is activated. And now the mouse comes. And now you can move this around. Okay, I'm just left clicking and dragging around. Okay, so you can move this around. So then the other thing you should notice is that again, you can zoom in and zoom out. Okay, again, you can click fit. Uh, what it will do, it will get all the nodes in the viewport and fit them. So it's quite something very important to zoom in, zoom out, middle mouse scroll wheel. And that's very important. Okay, and just to, um, just to show you how the nodes are used. So for example, if I add a number node and I put it there, okay? So all I have to do is drag. You saw what I did? I drag and put it, okay? You drag and put a node. Drag and put a node, drag and put a node, drag and put a node, okay? That's how you create the node. So for example, here we've created a node that's 0.0. .0. So this is the point we have. So here we are zooming in. Now, if we want to look at the point, we can right click, click switch to geometry view, okay? So again, as you can see, I can see our point here. So I can change our point to a different point, right click, switch to node view. I'm gonna change this to three. 
you see our point has moved here if i zoom in zoom out i'm panning in the node view if i right click switch to geometry view and rotate i can see our point is in space and it's located at that point of three three units three units and three units in the z okay and again you can click zoom to fit which takes us back or you can rotate and if you want to see it from the top depending on how you want to see it okay okay which is good so again you can also use this to switch between the two okay node view geometry node geometry node geometry okay so we're going to keep in the node view and now in the next lesson we're going to be talking about points so in this lesson what we have talked about is we have talked about the units range that you should look at we've talked about the different workspaces where there's the geometry view and there's the node view and how you can navigate in each how you can switch between each of them so now in the next lesson we are going to be looking at points Now